Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. A Vernon Hills woman says that someone stole thousands of dollars from her through the Zelle app. It comes built into most banking apps. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas shows us two risky things to help avoid becoming a victim. I'm just sick about it. So. A folder of facts. I'm not that tech savvy. I'm older. A meeting with a news reporter. Was very upset. And one ticked off 69-year-old woman. So how did we get here? Well, it all started in late June when Deborah Steidel walked into a Vernon Hills store. My debit card wouldn't work, and I knew that I had $2,000 in the account. Steidel checked her Fifth Third Bank app, which told her the account was nearly empty after a large transaction. So she went into this Fifth Third Bank at Vernon Hills the next day to try to figure out what was going on. Why would I just get rid of all my money? Um, they said, well, it, it went through a Zelle account, so I must have did it. Zelle is a digital payment network that allows customers to transfer money online. All you need is the email address or phone number of the person you're sending to. And I said, well, what are you talking about a Zelle account? I don't have a Zelle account. Fifth Third looked into it and gave her these three transaction details to the supposed recipient, totaling more than $2,500. Had you ever even heard that name before? No, I don't know who he is. Fifth Third's website says they offer multiple layers of fraud protection, but the bank denied her fraud claims, stating, we have determined the transaction is valid. They said it was over, that uh, there was nothing more they could do, they don't know where the money went, and they can't prove anything. It's still a mystery how someone got into her funds. The police report points out that Steidel's husband accessed his Fifth Third account from a public library computer sometime in June and may have left the computer open while he used the bathroom. But the Zell transactions all happened after library hours. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I just don't know how they did it. Nonetheless, Fifth Third says customers should never access their details from public computers for that very reason. The bank also points out that scammers will call people pretending to be an employee and convince customers to find and reveal one-time passcodes for features like Zelle. Her husband vaguely remembers giving some information to someone who said they were from the bank, but she says no one's told her if that had anything to do with her problems. I wasn't working, and it was my Social Security check that he stole. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. A miss app for sure. Both Zell and Fifth Third would not comment on the specifics of Steidel's case. We'll let you know what the Vernon Hills Police Department finds in their investigation.